police officer took the stand today in the trial of a Hylia cop accused of kidnapping and beating a man and trying to cover it up. Local 10's Leanne Morajon is live with more on today's testimony. Leanne. And that officer testified that the behavior he saw from his colleague that day just didn't sit right with him. He's driving me crazy with the same question. Jose Ortega Gutierrez, the victim of a beating allegedly at the hands of two former Hialeah police officers, finally ends three days of testimony, exasperated. I have answered it more than ten times. The state then called Officer Jeffrey Abascal. He, too, responded to the December disturbance at a Hialeah bakery where Gutierrez would be taken into custody. That's Officer Otano. Otano and another former officer, Lorenzo Orfila, are accused of beating Gutierrez at a remote trash dump site and leaving him there shortly after Gutierrez was taken into custody at the bakery. Did he look like this on the day that you arrived on scene? No, ma'am. Abascal testified he had a bad feeling about his fellow officers' behavior. I mean, there was a lot of policies and violated already. Observed them driving out of their assigned sector. I felt that something was wrong. And later heard Otano and Orfila discussing the day's events. They took him into Orfila's car and they both went to Sector 6 to drop him off and just came back. There was some type of nervousness in there. Orfila and Otano were assigned to Sector 4. Sergeant Javier Barrios was assigned to that sector back in December and says Otano violated policy, never activating his body camera or filing any paperwork about an arrest. Are you aware at any point that during that call someone had been taken into custody? No, I wasn't. An internal affairs detective says Otano never logged anything on his daily activity report. He has to fill one of these out. He has to sign it. And the trial is expected to resume Friday morning at 9 a.m. Reporting live in Miami, Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News.